All right, so in today's video, let's have a little fun. Back in 2011, a young music industry photographer named David Black was tasked with taking pictures of a relatively unknown Compton rapper named Kendrick Lamar. On the wall of the makeshift garage studio Kendrick was recording in, there was a piece of paper placed up with five success principles written in Lamar's own hand. Now, upon further research for this video, we've been told that these success principles might have been written by Kendrick Lamar's mentor and CEO of Top Dog Entertainment, Anthony Top Dog Tiffith. However, once we go through this list, I'm confident you'll see these as the main blueprint for Kendrick's success, whether he wrote it himself or if his mentor Top Dog wrote it for him. With that said, let's list the five principles Kendrick Lamar used in 2011 during the recording of his now instant classic album Good Kid Mad City and analyze how Kendrick used them and how you can use them to better build your brand using Kendrick Lamar's work hard mindset. Kendrick Lamar motivation mindset number one, charisma, personality, or swagger. Call it what you like, but without it, you're just a human being reading off of a piece of paper. Believe it or not, 50 being shot in his mouth area gave him more style and personality from the straightforward, aggressive style he had in his Columbia days. It instantly stood out when his attorney played his demo in the summer of 2002. Before we even get into the science of Kendrick's steps, I want to point something out for you. The rapper who gets mentioned the most in Kendrick's success rules is none other than 50 Cent. I think the first thing to take away from this is that although in many ways Kendrick is sonically the farthest thing away from 50 Cent we can think of, Lamar is not afraid to pull inspirations from him in work rate, song structure, and mindset. One of the biggest mistakes young, lyrically minded artists make is to write off a more street or gangster rapper because they feel like they can't learn anything from them. Additionally, a lot of more underground or backpack rappers seem to believe that the 50 Cents and the Lil Wayne's of the world are somehow mindless, gun-toting poison to the game rather than identifying specific pieces of the street rapper's success that the lyrical rapper can pull from. King Kunta is also on the record as being one of Lil Wayne's biggest celebrity fans. The major takeaway here is not to let differences in target demographic stop you from picking up gems from a major street rapper, or on the opposite side, not learning from a lyrical artist if you're doing music for the hood. With that being said, the first thing that should stand out for us in this quote in the Kendrick Lamar work hard mindset is that he puts style and finesse at a premium. While being considered one of the greatest lyricists of all time and a true master of technical writing proficiency as a rapper, he has also always showed a taste for making his raps have flair and sauce. For you as an artist, especially if you tend towards more of the lyrical miracle style of music, you should never discount the importance of developing that magnetic personality on the mic that will draw the audience in. One of the most impressive feats Kendrick Lamar has ever pulled off was the ability to stay lyrically respected while also commercially successful. From day one, it was clear that King Kenny knew having a bit of drip in his songs would help accentuate his introspective lyrics. If you yourself as a rapper want to accomplish that same level of style with substance in each of your songs, we have a songwriting course called Hit Records Hot Beat which is a four-hour masterclass studying the work of rappers like Kendrick Lamar himself and J. Cole, which comes as a free bonus if you click the first link in the video description and sign up. Secondly, Kendrick realizes there are two components to the music business, music and business. So even in success principle number one, he's already referencing the history of 50 Cent signing allegiances with 50's first major label deal being Columbia. Furthermore, it would seem that Kendrick has been on the edges of the industry from a very young age as his reference to knowing 50's then lawyer would put Kendrick at around age 14 or 15 when he heard that demo, or as we mentioned in the beginning, perhaps Kenny's mentor Top Dog was in touch with 50's team at that time, which would still become an automatic plug for a young Kendrick building his skills. Kendrick motivation mindset number two, substance. The ability to move people through words is a gift like nothing else. Add the right backdrop to that gift and you've got a winner. 50 Cent's Many Men is a prime example of a street rapper taking audiences into the inner psyche of the stress that comes from living the life of a street kid. It's quite interesting that for all of the artists Kendrick Lamar could connect with substance, 
he again chose 50 Cent. 50, while considered one of the most successful in terms of sales and power rappers of all time, no pun intended, is perhaps underrated in terms of his ability to paint a picture with substance. It should be noted that when Kendrick followed these rules in 2011, 50 Cent was considered past his prime by many in the industry and many men itself was over seven years old. In any case, this advice shows that Kendrick sees that one of the main components of substance is taking your fans into your inner world as much as talking about a topic that is relevant to them. We can consider songs like The Art of Peer Pressure and ADHD as examples of the substantive palette Kendrick was developing at the time. Kendrick Lamar Mindset Number 3 Lyrics I believe MCs make great artists, Big E, Eminem, Jay-Z, Big Pun. It's just a matter of knowing the advantages and disadvantages of being a wordsmith in a climate where dumbing down is widely embraced. When I got M's demo in 97, he not only exhibited the qualities of a top-notch battle-ridden wordsmith, he knew how to use them without boring the listener. He now uses that ability to make some of the greatest records, Lose Yourself, The Way I Am, Stan, ever recorded by an MC. In this tip, we have an in-depth discussion by Kendrick on the merits of Eminem. A few other key name drops include rappers who have all tasted both critical and commercial accolades, the notorious B.I.G., Jay-Z, and Big Pun. Is it any surprise to us then that Kendrick Lamar is one of the only artists in his generation to garner the same praise? Here he demonstrates how much of a premium up and coming artists should put on making practicing the tightrope act of making a catchy commercially viable track and still having serious substance like in mindset number two, all of the Eminem songs listed here bear that concept out. For yourself as a lyricist, one of the most important keys is having a rousing chorus and a banging beat. In the case of both Lose Yourself and The Way I Am, Eminem lays his substantive bars over a bed of hard in your face thumping rhythms and throws an unforgettable chorus on there to boot. You can think of Kendrick Lamar's later work with songs like Loyalty, All Right, as examples of great bouncing production mixing with relevant topical lyrics. Again, as we mentioned, we have a free bonus course that is four hours of songwriting coaching on exactly how to mix good beat selection and relevant lyrics, which you can pick up by visiting the video description. Kendrick Motivation Mindset Number Four, Uniqueness. Whether it's perspective or style, I look for something that's gonna stand out from the rest of the pack and eventually appeal on a coast to coast level. I found Bobby Creekwater, a southern MC going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a respected East Coast MC without sacrificing his southern swagger. It instantly showed me that he could appeal with two different factions of the hip-hop audience. Let's start with a little bit about Bobby Creekwater. Now, I can't lie, I had to do a little research on him because his name didn't ring a bell off the top of my head. Once I looked him up online, I do vaguely remember he was signed to Shady Records for a time and even appeared on the Shady compilation The Re-Up in 2006. And true to form, his style is a mix of swagger-based TI-like charisma and lyrical reflection that is akin to an Andre 3000. Needless to say, he's from Atlanta. In any case, I think this tip really again shows how much of a student of the game Kendrick is. While most of his motivation comes from major household name artists like 50 Cent, Eminem, and Jay-Z, he's not afraid to pull his influences from his peers and the artists around him. Really think about the humility it takes to do that, especially when you're busy making what would soon become one of the most celebrated albums of the decade in Good Kid Mad City. For you as an artist, this is a great reminder to not be afraid to take influences from rappers around you, study your peers just as much as you study your idols, even if they're not a household name yet. And Kendrick Motivation Mindset number five, Work Ethics. That's what it says right there, not work ethic, work ethics. The current top five didn't get there off mere talent. You match talent with drive and a rapper's probability of being a long-term brand increased daily. Take away 50's ability to make great songs and you still have one of the hardest working human beings I've ever encountered. From taking pictures with fans to showing up places on time, his work ethic is a major part of why he's one of the most successful artists ever. Our last Kendrick work hard motivation tip yet again references Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. I think the most interesting portion of this point is that Kendrick makes a point to reference actually showing up on time to events. This might be the least drippy thing any rapper could pinpoint and yet it pays serious dividends to any artist's career. An emphasis on professionalism as part of your work ethic is something we don't hear enough from our favorite artists and yet here we have Kendrick himself telling us point blank showing up on time is crucial to success. In your case, that means when you have a studio session or a business meeting, get there early. This will demonstrate to the other party that you take your career seriously, even more seriously than they do. 
and then they will want to give you money. So with that being said, I want to see you in the comments. What is your personal success principle you've learned that helped your career? Of course, if you're an artist yourself watching this, check the video description for information on that free bonus course. I've been your host, Drew Morrissey, the big homie Drew. I'm out.